Om Shanti, today is your 128th day of your meditative blessing and in today's blessing, God the Father is teaching us a method of finding out that where are we lacking, what is it that is not complete within us because of which we have desires within us, whether those desires are worldly desires or those desires are the desires of the spiritual journey where in some way or the other we want to be successful or we have the desire to become complete in some manner or the other. So God says that even if you have the desire to do purushat or to work hard towards your progress, that means there's something or the other which is not complete because you're thinking throughout the day about becoming complete and doing purushat or thinking that, oh, I have to meditate or oh, I should sit down and read the murli or I need to work hard and remember God at every step of my life or in every breath. So some way or the other, something is lacking which we are not following. So let's see what is God's order today and what he tells us to follow so that we are feeling complete and we don't have any more desires in our life. So Baba says in today's blessing. May you finish all desires by fulfilling all orders and become maya proof as all of us have understood what maya means maya means the weaknesses within maya could be jealousy within maya could be competition comparison within maya can be in a bigger scale like lust anger greed ego attachment all those things are maya because they are the ones which sap away our energy and we feel incomplete within and that's the reason why god says that I've given you certain orders to follow throughout the day so that you don't feel incomplete and because of which you still feel like you still want more. So God says in details, whatever orders you have received for the whole day from Amrit Vela. Amrit Vela is the time which is also known as the nectar, time of nectar. And that nectar means that you get connected to God and everybody else is sleeping at that time. Nobody is into any kind of impure activity or worldly activity, let's say. Worldly activity means thinking about business or earning, where the vibrations of all the souls are awakened and everybody is thinking of something or the other. But at that time, between, let's say, 2 to 5 early in the morning, nobody is thinking about business. Nobody is thinking about any impure thoughts. And nobody is into any lustful activity that time. So that's the time Baba says it's the Amrit Vela or the Brahma Murat where you can sit down and think about me and spend time with me. Otherwise throughout the day you are busy in your work, in your duties, in your household chores and you don't have time. So doing Karma Yoga is okay but to sit down in Amrit Vela and specifically spending the whole time with God is very different experience once you do that. So then Baba says whatever orders you have received for the whole day from Amrit Vela until night time, that before you sleep, how do you sleep also? You contemplate about God. You write down your diary as to what you did good in your karma and what you did bad in your karma. Were the eyes seeing the right thing? Were the ears listening the right thing? Were the, was the mouth speaking the right words? Were your hands and legs doing the right thing? So were you into lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment, jealousy? Uh, were you into laziness? Were you into com into postponement of things? Were you comparing or com competing with others? Were you jealous of others? We write down everything at night before sleeping so that we clean and clear and we are ready for the next day and we have already decided what we need to do and what we don't need to do again. So that is what God has told us that before you sleep, you write down your complete khata. Khata means your profit and loss for the day. A businessman like writes down the profit and loss in their books. So similarly over here, Baba says, write down your profit and loss of your karmas throughout the day, which you have done at the end of the day before sleeping. So then that's what we do until night time. Baba says, check your attitude. What was your attitude? What did you do? What are you doing right now towards people, towards yourself, towards the whole world? Is it an impure attitude? Are you looking down upon people or souls? Are you putting yourself down also? God says, and your vision, how do you look at people, how do you see yourself, your thoughts, whether they are impure or pure, whether you are looking at faults in others, whether you are looking at faults in yourself, whether you are complaining about something, 
because if you're complaining then you can never become complete our says and awareness so what is your awareness of yourself of god of god's teachings and then comes service so are you serving in the right manner or like we heard yesterday that the service also has to be done in an altruistic manner so are we doing it in an altruistic manner or are we engaged in doing service based just because we need something from other people we need the name we need the fame we need the honor from other people and relationships how are my relationships are they all about i want something in return that's why i'm doing certain things for the people or my relationships are into too much of depth so much so that i get entangled with them and i forget god so papa says check everything check your attitude your vision your thoughts your awareness are you aware of your karmas service and relationships according to those orders those who follow orders with their every thought what god has given us what we learned from akumari so those orders and at every step have all their desires finished once we are following god's ways of life then automatically we don't feel empty within because we don't need anything from anybody else we're getting everything from god and that's where we have our desires limited and slowly over a period of time we become desireless and that's known as completely liberated and a desireless soul can only go into liberation completely so that's the first step that means we have to start following the orders of god if you have any desire within yourself for your efforts or your success that i need to go ahead i need to do seva or service i need to be overcoming my these weaknesses if i have those desires and i keep on contemplating about them and not follow the orders then i will never feel complete within so if i follow the orders then automatically my complaints and my weaknesses are going to go so god says then you are definitely not fulfilling orders somewhere or the other check them so whatever a problem whenever a problem arises whatever that problem is check your orders everywhere am i following those orders from morning time from amritvela till night time before sleeping and baba says then you will automatically become my proof that means check and change that's what we do throughout the day we're checking and changing our behavior our attitude our vision our words our way of looking our way of listening to things and god says before you sleep write down your diary and check how much of profit and how much of loss you incurred in your karmas for the day that's a very beautiful practice which god teaches us and that's what we learn in much more in depth we learn at brahma kumaris i hope to see you soon in brahma kumaris in the nearby center where so where you stay and may you be blessed with god's blessings and knowledge may you stay safe may you stay healthy with this i leave you om shanti